Hello aspirants, welcome to IAS by Hunt. In today's video, we are going to discuss an interesting topic, egg or chicken, which came first. And this question has been puzzling us since our early childhood. And in the attempt of solving and decoding this question, we are also going to do it with, an, with the help of the most important and interesting topics of biological anthropology subjected to evolution. It's like hitting two birds with a single stone. Interesting, right? Let's get started. The chicken lays the egg and the egg hatches, chicken comes again. And this process goes on and on and on in a logical circle. But which came first and which is the predecessor is always an eternal question. Let's understand this question and let's decode this question with the concept of evolution. We all know no offspring is an exact replica of its parents. We have our genes from our fathers and our mothers equally. And similarly, not just about the variation in the chromosomal level, there is also mutations in the DNA level which leads to formation of small small variations in each one of us. And in fact, slowly and steadily these variations come together leading to formation of a new species. When Darwin talked about the theory of speciation through natural selection, he talked about a number of concepts and he, uh, he said the speciation does not occur in a single day. In fact, it is due to the combination of variation and heredity of different characters from the parents and at the same time, there is going to be overproduction, overproduction of organisms which leads to st struggle of existence and whichever organism is able to survive uh, in a fittest way, which, uh, it only survives and this particular uh, thing leads to modification of certain characters in the species and slowly and steadily this leads to formation of a new species. Darwin also talked about something called as the adaptive radiation, how a single species gets different varieties based on their habit and uh, their habitats. In fact, the finch, a single uh, species actually got modified into so many different varieties based on its food habits and so this holds good to the fowls as well. In fact, the same type of fowl which, uh, which lives in Asia has different variation and different uh, coloration based on, based on its habitat and food habits. So this actually shows the different types of uh, chicken that is pro uh, produced from a same egg. The smaller level of variation within the species slowly leads to something called as an anagenetic change which, uh, which is actually leading to variation within the species. But slowly and steadily these variations they tend to accumulate and leads to a process called speciation that is formation of new species and leads to macroevolution. So macroevolution is creation of new species from a, 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 pre a predominant uh, ancestor. Biocultural evolution is one of the specific and unique topics of biological anthropology. It actually talks about the concept of how culture and biological aspects to, uh, goes hand in hand in evolution of species, especially human beings. Human beings is a complex species because of the biocultural evolution. Not just biological changes, but also as cultural and social changes led to evolution of him. In fact, uh, man's uh, straight posture and several other characteristics are mainly due to the social changes. In fact, these social changes and these cultural changes did not just change the evolution of man. It in fact had to do a lot with the evolution of several other uh, species as well. In fact, the wolf, because of the selective breeding, it, uh, it actually became uh, different breeds of dogs where, uh, in their domestication process. And the same thing hold, holds good even for the fowls. And, uh, when the human beings started domesticating fowls, there were so many species of jungle fowls and with selective breeding, there are so many uh, new breeds of hens which we see in our day-to-day -day life. These were not existing before the man's arrival and they are, uh, they are here today because of the impact of human on the evolution. In fact, not just the selective breeding alone, the changes that uh, man created in the environment in terms of pollution, in terms of deforestation and other such aspects also had an natural selection effect on the uh, organisms as well. This also lead to several uh, bigger modifications in the organisms. Slowly and steadily, there were so many different types of birds and so many different types of animals which came into existence and which uh, extincted because of human impact. So what is an egg? Egg is a zygote which is covered by a membrane. So usually this membrane could be a soft layer or it could be a cellular layer as in the case of human beings or it could be a hard shelled structure as we see in the case of the birds. This, uh, there is an evolution of eggs which actually happened as early as 2 billion years ago. 
and this continues forward with the evolution of humans there are new creations uh, within the egg itself in fact there is this concept of three parental baby where there is a modification of egg usually an egg is a zygote which is a combination of a father and a mother and today with uh, the advancements uh, in the medical field we have this three parent baby there is a genetic contribution of the third parent in pro production of a new, uh, new uh, progeny in fact this uh, new variety is actually a medical marvel and similarly there is production of sterile eggs which actually do, uh, does not involve a rooster in the process of production of egg. The, ch uh, the chicken lays the egg and the egg is an exact clone or replica of the uh, chicken itself and this is a sterile egg it does not lead to formation of chicken again. So chicken leads to an egg and the egg doesn't hatch into a chicken. As we know reptiles actually are the ancestors of the uh, birds we see today. In fact chicken and the T-Rex that is your Tyrannosaurus Rex both have a similar uh, ancestor and slowly and steadily because of the adaptive radiation they uh, they delineated and they differentiated into this particular organism. In fact this ancestor was a uh, oviparous animal the, that is this ancestor also laid eggs and slowly and steadily all these uh, uh, descendants also are egg laying species. Uh, a little variation a little mutation leads to Crea uh, led to a creation of new species again and again which led to the production of chicken and coming back to our question who is the real winner it is the uh, it is the eggs which uh, started to exist 2 billion years ago and uh, they continue to exist even after the reptiles birds mammals and even human beings have eggs in themselves even if there is going to be an evolution past human beings there is going to be a continuation of eggs and so the real winner is of course team egg. Even for the questions where there is no logical answer, there is uh, always an answer with scientific expedition. In fact, anthropology also works in this line. Anthropology is a synthetic science which actually takes inputs from various subjects to give an exact answer for the human survival. It is not just a study of man, it is about human survival and it is about the impact of human being on the world as well. And uh, that's how interesting the anthropology subject is. And uh, with, uh, we are also coming up with new videos, other uh, branches of anthropology. And for more such videos, like, share and subscribe to IAS by her channel. And thank you.